So this afternoon we have a 2003 GMC truck. It's a half ton 4x4. It's had two transmissions put in it. One used one that failed pretty quickly or was failed when they put it in. And then that transmission was rebuilt and it was put in and it failed within 50 miles. So now it's on the third one and apparently it has low line pressure. It was driven here by disconnecting the electrical plug at the uh, transmission and that forces it up to very high pressure. So it was driven here in second gear. Um, I've reconnected the transmission and I've got a pressure gauge, electronic pressure gauge hooked up to the line pressure port. I'll show you where that is. It's up on the side of the transmission there above the manual lever position sensor. I've got a hose and a transducer connected here and it's connected to my Vantage Pro and we're going to have a look at some pressures and do a pressure control solenoid test on this thing. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, clear all the codes out of this thing because it's it's been driven with the transmission unplugged so it's going to have a whack of codes. Uh, geez, does this have a throttle cable? Got to check. Okay, so it is with without throttle cable. One of the first times, first years that GM went with uh, drive-by-wire throttle. So clear the codes out of there. I'm sure that uh, that's the same as the transmission. I'm sure it's the same computer, but I'm going to clear codes out of that one too, just the same. Here's the throttle body clicking. Nope. Oh, wrong one. Let's go into transmission, let's go to codes menu, display codes, all powertrain codes, no codes. So we're going to start it up with the uh, uh, pressure gauge on it and I don't think this gives me transmission line pressure in here. I don't think it has a pressure sensor in the transmission which is a, a problem with this transmission. It doesn't know if it has low pressure. It controls the pressure regulation through this pressure control solenoid by changing the current flow on it. There's amperage but it doesn't actually show you what the pressure actually is. Pressure control solenoid duty cycle. No it doesn't show transmission line pressure. Fluid temperature normal 69 Fahrenheit. All right so I'll get set up here. And so idling in park it's got about 56 and a half psi pressure. We're gonna have a look at the specs. So I found the uh, procedure to do uh, line pressure test and control the line pressure with a scan tool. So basically you start out at one amp and go down and it should be running roughly 50, 53 to 85 at one amp and so on. So we're going to try this test using the scan tool. With the gauge on it. Let's see a bidirectional functional test. Pressure control amps. That's where is the transmission pressure control amps? This one, or is it going to be the duty cycle, or the actual current? I would say the actual current. And so right now, at point one. Got 190 psi. 184 psi. So I'm going to set up to go through the ranges. So I'm going to call out the ranges as I go. Point two.
One amp is around where we were before, 56 PSI. Now I'm going to go back down again. 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.9, 0.
crossing gear there, you see the line pressure spiked. Under load it increases. It's a little sketchy driving in the snow here. Okay, I'm going to get it on the highway. Okay, so we're turning on to the highway now. See how this thing goes through the gears. Road conditions aren't all the greatest right now. It's snowing outside. Second gear. Third gear. I'm afraid to accelerate heavy. This blowing snow on the road. Fourth gear. It's a beautiful thing. I don't have the TCC being graphed there, so I'm not sure if the torque converter. It feels like the torque converter locked up. I'm going to touch the brake pedal. Well, this one may respond to throttle instead of brake. Well, it's definitely going through all the gears. As soon as this vehicle goes by, I'm going to accelerate a little bit. Downshifted to third, from fourth to third. Another vehicle coming, so I don't want to accelerate and spin out in front of them. I just started spinning. <laughs> Need four wheel drive. The transmission seems to be working fine right now. Well, we're going to go back put it up on the hoist and take all the gear off of this thing and can't fix what isn't broken. So we're back in the shop. Everything seemed to work fine. I just want to check to see why the check engine light is on because it is on. I'm not sure why. Mass airflow circuit out of range and evap vent control. So he probably needs a vent control solenoid. I don't know why the mass airflow sensor would be out of range. Unless they're using the same power supplies. I'll have a quick look at that, but that's not related to our transmission problem.